Greetings everyone, this is Nonix Fort here back again with another video. Today we are going to be solving problem number 2 of our main lead code challenge and the problem that has been given to us today is the jewels and stones problem. If you want to try to solve this problem on your own, you can pause this video and check out the lead code link given in the description below and let's get started. So the problem description is that you are given strings j representing the type of stones that are jewels and s representing the stones you have. Each character in s is the type of stone you have and you want to know how many stones you have which are jewels. The letters in J are guaranteed to be distinct and all the characters in J and S are letters. Letters are case sensitive so A is considered a different type of stone than capital A. So you've been given an example over here where you have J which is the jewels that you know are jewels and you have A which is small A and capital A and the stones that you have where you have a small A or capital A or capital A and um, four lower case B's. So the output is three over here because well you have one um, small a which is a jewel and two uh, uppercase a's which are also jewels. So the problem itself is actually pretty simple. Um, if you sort of know about dictionary structures you could sort of use that and I would actually argue that even if you use them the space complexity that you're using would be O of 26 or 52 based on the characters that you have. So it still becomes O of 1 because it's constant so let's just quickly do that. So we're going to say that we have something called a set J or rather let's just use J for now and convert this into a set. And we can do this like really simply because we can use list comprehension and we can just return the length of the list. So what we need to do is we need to iterate on each um, stone that we presently have. So the stone that we have, we have over here. Uh, we basically return that. And the if condition is if S is in J. So if S is in J, then that means that that stone is actually a jewel and you're good to go. So a simple two line Python code over here should work and you can run this code and hopefully this should run fine. And you can see it's running fine and let's just go ahead and submit this. Cool, you can see that the submission has been accepted. And to be honest with you, like if you know about the proper data structures, it becomes a really easy problem to solve. Otherwise, you can solve this in, well, O n squared, just do a quick brute force, that also works. But the only thing that I wanted to focus on was that even if you're using set, that does not really mean that you're using a space complexity of O of n. If you know for a fact that the uh, characters that you have is going to be at max lowercase um, and uppercase ASCII characters, in that case, um, you can say, you can argue that the space complexity would never be greater than O of 52 and that's basically O of 1. Cool, so that's it for today's video. If you did like this video, do give a like and do subscribe to our channel. If you had any comments or if you have any suggestions, do leave it in the comment section below. And if you've already subscribed to the channel, you're awesome, we all know it and have an awesome day. Thank you.